Hi, welcome to Sea Bugs Records, new arrivals for the week of September 2nd. Please subscribe. Please pass this along. Before we start with the records, I'm going to show you something cool I bought yesterday. It's a leather jacket. It's Wednesday 13. Now, if you're not familiar with Wednesday 13, it's what I would describe as like a thrash metal band. Um, this was made in 2008. It was hand painted, custom made. Very, very cool. I found this on Facebook as in Harrington, which was a horrible ride out because it's in the middle of nowhere and you gotta go through Farmington. But I couldn't resist. I couldn't find anything to compare it to. I bought it for $100. I think it's worth a lot more. I'm gonna put 300 on it. We'll see what happens, uh, but I just, sometimes you see something and you gotta take a chance. So that's that. What I'm gonna show you now is a lot I bought last week, the week before for $350. Now I'm doing this a little differently because a lot of these things I wasn't real familiar with. So I already went ahead and put the sleeves on and put the prices on, which you know, might be better because I'm t telling you exactly what, what they cost. And I know I usually say, well, it'll probably cost around this and then we see. Uh, but the thing I don't like about doing this is they will crackle. You will hear it, which drives me crazy. But let's get started. We're going to start with some kid stuff. These are all Disney stuff with little books in them. They all go for $9. Let's see now, ACDC, Highway to Hell, real nice copy, would be $28. Beatles, rock and roll music, $18, double album. Miles Davis, greatest hit, you got 25 bucks. Al Green, have a good time, $20. Jimi Hendrix, Electric Ladyland, $40. David Bowie, Scary Monsters. This is one of my favorite poets. Underrated. I love this album. $32. This one's kind of cool. Hound Dog, Taylor, and the House Rackers. Uh, blue stuff. It's a first pressing. It's a textured sleeve, which makes it a first pressing. Uh, I think I have $25 on it. It's going for a little more on eBay, but let's get things sold. Uh, Star Wars, $20. Def Leppard Pyromania, $24. Fleetwood Mac Rumors, I'm not sure if I have any right now. I'm, I only have one if I have any, so happy to have them. $35. Stevie Nicks, $15. The Wild Hearts. Some Girls, Stones, $22, I believe. Okay, let's see. I believe now everything else is a newer pressing. They're open, but they're, you know, pressings within the last 10 years, I'd say. So we'll start with a couple. This is Under Oath, Voyeurist, and Erase Me. These are $25 each. This one's crazy. Okay, so Halloween soundtrack. I know there's a lot of people who collect horror movie stuff in general in horror movie vinyl. This one for some reason is worth more than other ones. There's, there's different, you know, copies of Halloween. That one's going to be 60 bucks. I was kind of shocked by that. Let's see. Come back kid. Turn it around. V25. Uh, we got a couple Quentin Tarantino movies. Actually, we have three, but I just think I have two of them right now. So we have Death Proof, 25, and Death Brown, 25. 21 Pilots. I believe this is the first album, $25. Velvet Underground, Loaded. Now, if this was an original pressing, it would be much, much more. I think we have $25 on it. Yep. Jackie Wilson Story, double album, $25. This is Dio, Holy Diver, 35th anniversary of Holy Diver. It's live at 35. You know, it's one of these 
discs that's not even a real circle. Uh, $28. Okay, Here, here's a fun story that makes me look stupid. Um, this is Venom. Bullet for my Valentine. Now, let me give you some excuses first. My eyes are horrible. I try to do things as quickly as I can to, you know, get all the names in and you know, all, everything in the computer, and I hate doing that. So, if you ever really read the sign, it's going to say, built for my valentine. When it's really bullet for my valentine. It's not really the same thing. I don't think that's what they were going for. But, okay. Uh, let's see. $28 on that. Panic at the Disco. 25 bucks. Not a fan. This is the kind of thing I listen to with my kids. and Some of it I like. I, I, I like 21 Pilots. But Panic as a Disco. No. This is Tool. And I still don't know how to say this. Lateralis. I'm sure I butchered that. Double album. $28. More Tarantino. We got Pulp Fiction for 28 What's going on? Marvin Gaye. Love this album. $25. This is That's the Spirit. Bring Me the Horizon for $30. Nirvana Unplugged in New York. $30. Hawthorne Heights. $35. If Only You Were Lonely. All right, this one. Here's another expensive one. $65. Stevie Nicks Rarities 81 to 83. Uh, very, this is really good. But I, I didn't know it was going to be this expensive. It really is. So $65 is actually cheaper than anything on eBay. Another $65. We got Rob Zombie, The Sinister Urge. Let's see... The Black Parade, My Chemical Romance. It's a great name for a band. Anyways, what did I say the price? This is 35. A Tribe Called Quest, nice to have more rock, 45. This is hits, rarities, and remixes. This is the only sealed one. Now that's what I call 90s alternative rock. That just slides off your tongue. That, so that's sealed in how much? 40, I believe. $40. This is Come Dancing with the Kinks. $20. And finally, somewhere at the bottom, LA Dispute. $65. So we have a lot of kind of different things this time. Glad to have them. Um, you know, definitely new, need some new releases coming in. So, really happy to have these. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in here.